this is Alex Bahanik. I'm a volunteer and former curator at the Computer History Museum interviewing um, Mark Nemenman for this oral history interview. And today is March 27th, 2018. I'm Vadim Temkin. I'm going to assist in translation from Russian and into Russian if needed. And I'm Hanson Su. I'm a curator here at the Computer History Museum. And I am Mark Nemenman. Great, let's get started. Thank you for taking the time to come here for this oral history interview. Really appreciate it. Um, let's start with uh, introducing yourself. What is your, your full name and when and where were you born? Okay, my uh, full name is Mark. My last name is Nemenman. My uh, father's name is Efim. And full name is Mark Efimovich Nemenman. So uh, I, I was born November 6, 19. 36 in Minsk, which is right now capital of Belarus, independent country. Great. Can you tell me about your family and about your parents? What did they do? Where did they grow up? Uh, so, uh, as как писалось в биографиях Советском Союзе, as was written in biography in Soviet Union, I was born in poor Jewish family. So my father, uh, my father was печатник, рабочий печатник. Typographic worker. Typographic uh, worker. So without uh, some education. My mother was a bookkeeper. And uh, my family was uh, has three children. Uh, I had two uh, two sisters which uh, were older than me, and, and I was the last child. We live in the, in Minsk. Uh, Minsk was a small uh, small town, maybe two hundred fifty people, two hundred fifty thousand of people before the war. The war is uh, Second uh, World War. The war. And uh, so, uh, 35, 40 percent Jewish. It was visible on uh, on streets. Some people speak uh, speak Jewish, not Yiddish. not Yiddish, not uh, not Hebrew. So that's all about my my uh, life before the war. Uh, when the uh, war started, June 22nd of uh, 1941. Uh, all my family, so my parents and my sister and me, by foot go from city, go from town. My grandparents uh, left in, in Minsk and they uh, left in the Minsk forever in, in Jewish ghetto. And we go uh, by foot maybe 50 kilometers and after them by cars and by some train, uh, so we reach uh, almost uh, almost uh, river of Volga, uh, Chuvashia. Chuvash. Chuvash uh, is maybe nationality like uh, Tatar, like like Mordva, yeah. uh, so uh, around, around Volga. And uh, we we left them maybe in this uh, in this place maybe uh, four years, and my father go my father go to the war, and uh, and after them in June and of of 1945 we come back to to Minsk. I start my school years in uh, evacuation in in the Volga. So after them, everything was easy. Comparatively. <laughs> yes. So I finished my uh, high school in 1953, exactly when Stalin died. So you left Minsk yes. uh, during the war, mm -hmm. um, returned at the end of the war, mm -hmm. and then lived in Minsk for most of the rest of your life? Yes. Okay, until you emigrated to the United mm -hmm. States, did you did you marry in 
in Belarus? Do you have yes. children yourself? Yes. What? I married in, uh, let me recall, 1974. <laughs> okay. And do you have children? Yes, I, I do. I have two sons. And when were they born? Uh, 1975 and 1976. Very quickly. Great. When you were an early age, when you are a child, when you are in school, uh, were there people in your extended family, were there friends or teachers who were uh, influential uh, that you remember were role models to you? Um, I can only recall maybe uh, in school um, couple couple teachers. One uh, one of them is was uh, some um, principal of school, he history teacher, and uh, he learned he learned us maybe uh, don't don't believe everything what you read. Think yourself, and it was uh, interesting in, the, in that time because it was not uh, not uh, common in that time. And second teacher, what uh, which I remember good is my teacher of uh, of German. It was it was uh, language was we learned in, in the school. Uh, it uh, maybe uh, th this person was very strong and very um, let me start different uh, in in our class it was a lot of people who was older than me because they stay in the Minsk uh, during the war and didn't learn and uh, almost all of them can can speak German because uh, uh, after three years and under uh, the Germany, they understand everything. And uh, uh, only five maybe people in class was like me, uh, small children, and never learn uh, something else. And it was hard for this teacher to tell them uh, Schweig, do you understand? Uh, what does it mean Schweig in German? And le let me learn these people, you know everything, what, what, what you need read something instead of uh, instead of uh, sprechen I, I, I think I'm using German here and I will t teach them it was interesting for us because this, this person sh this teacher sh shows us how to be different with different people and how to uh, reach the goal what uh, what they need that's all in my childhood childhood what what topics did you enjoy in school, and which ones did you not enjoy? Mm. Everything was uh, easy for me, because I never uh, did homework. I everything did in class immediately. What they told, and it was easy for me. I have a lot of a lot of time to read something in, at home. And you said you uh, graduated from high school in 1953. Mm -hmm. Did you serve in the military? No, no military. Okay. And then you uh, chose to go to the uh, Belarusian State University for mathematics? Uh, yes, it was, uh, it was hard for Jewish people to, to be uh, to, to, to get accepted. To, to, be, to, be, to be accepted in, the, in, some, high, in some university. But uh, but fortunately, Stalin died in this year, and nobody knows what to do with me, <laughs> because uh, I, I got uh, the right to to uh, to go to university without uh, examination. examination because I got uh, some medal, not gold but silver, but it doesn't matter, and I go to interview. Uh, to speak to me in the day when the barrier, do, do you understand this family? Uh, do you know who barrier was? The was barrier was KGB, big KGB. The, 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 the main KGB person. Uh, before, before Stalin and uh, after Stalin, uh, uh, he will uh, pronounce as uh, British, British spy, spy. spy and killed after them. 
And exactly at that day, what I go to interview, uh, 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 by radio will announcement the barrier is British spy. And nobody knows what, uh, what will be after uh, this uh, event. And, <laughs> and this is the reason why I come into university easily. I, I understand this. You said you, you got a uh, silver medal. Uh, was that in high school? Yes. For what? Uh, in, in, at that time in, in Soviet Union, it was two, two uh, kind of medal. Uh, gold medal for people who has everything uh, A. And uh, silver medal who has uh, maybe one or two B. And everything else should be uh, perfect. But you did not have to do an entrance exam? Yes. Okay. It, it was not always, but at that time it was uh, this policy. Maybe later, later is something changed, but at that time it was. And why did you choose mathematics? Because I like it. <laughs> Any particular field within math that uh, you enjoyed No, the most? it was, uh, no, no. Uh, I, I make choice between physics and mathematics because uh, the faculty at least physical mathematics, physical mathematics. And uh, I, because I didn't, uh, I, I didn't like to do something with my hand, uh, and better prefer to think something about I choose mathematics on one reason. He is a physics. <laughs> I am a theoretician and doesn't matter. <laughs> it's almost the same, yes. <laughs> same thing. Uh, yes. And you, you were there until uh, 1958? Yes, it's five years. To and you graduated with a master's degree? Mm. At that time it was no master's degree and no bachelor's degree. It was only high education. Okay. And uh, so, uh, if I came in the USA maybe uh, four years later, uh, so uh, I make evaluation, it was uh, like a master degree. It was equivalent to, uh, yeah, to master degree master because uh, it's five this years. This is pretty standard, everybody who had five year education okay. usually it, claim master's master degree. But Russia uh, wasn't to, to finish with this, my student years, I can tell you, uh, so uh, it was uh, Khrushchev Otipel. What does it mean, uh, mm. Toin. <laughs> yeah, like yes, it, like, uh, like maybe easier uh, life in uh, after the Stalin. Exactly what it uh, so what that is here. Uh, yeah, the the, the twentieth uh, twentieth uh, conference of of, uh, of communist party, party and uh, and the uh, Khrushchev about cult личности. Stalin, the, the personality cult of Stalin, Stalin and after them it was easy, easier, easier to, to recall something. It were, it were interesting years. And I got a Lenin stipendium. It, it, was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was very hard for Jewish people because it was not, not uh, usual. It was an interesting fact. What what fields of mathematics did you did you stu uh, did you study, mm. and were there particular teachers or classes uh, that had so the greatest influence uh, on you? Algebra. Uh, so, algebra and uh, and the, yes, algebra. What did you think you wanted to be after you leave school? Um, it was hard for me to uh, to hope to go to uh, PhD program, uh, aspirantura in Russian. Uh, and uh, but uh, I suppose I, I, I will. And uh, so my professor in uh, university, uh, the name is Supronenko Dmitry Alexeyevich. Uh, alge algebra uh, specialist in uh, in uh, uh, abstract algebra, not uh, not low level algebra. Uh, so, uh, if I told uh, to my to my scientific boss, maybe in on the uh, one year before choosing the uh, diploma, Timo. Uh, uh, what, what what should I do to get to get the diploma? 
uh, he asked me, what do you want? And because in, at that time I al already uh, uh, had read the book about computers, first book about computers in Russia was Elektronne, which is Little Machine after Kitov uh, in 1956 printed. And I read that and understand it's interesting for me and I told my, my uh, scientific boss that I will uh, do programming algebra. Uh, boss told me, uh, okay, uh, solve this algebra problem, a small problem for any case. And after them you will explain me what the programming is. And it was my, uh, my uh, duty to uh, to tell the boss what is the programming. Because the word programming in, in Russia uh, was connected with linear programming, not with uh, programming for computer. Linear programming, you know what it means. Was, the, was there even a computer at the university? No, the no, 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 no right. computer in Minsk. Right. At that time, no computer in Minsk. Not only in, in, in the university. Have, and, have you heard about uh, cybernetics at the time? Uh, uh, so, bourgeoisie is not cybernetics. Yeah, the, the term was is uh, bu bu uh, bu bu bourgeois science of cybernetics. No, not science. No, uh, 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 pseudo science. Of yeah, yes, of cybernetics, and uh, uh, I was. Uh, Curious student in the in the first uh, in the first year of of students, I, I go to different different uh, faculty to to read to to hear something, and the lecture was bourgeoisie uh, nauka kibernetika prodazne devka imperialism. Okay, bourgeois pseudoscience of cybernetic is a prostitute of, uh, of imperialism. Imperialism. Um, imperialism. Right. And this is, uh, so, uh, Lecter was a professor of cathedral of philosophy. And uh, going uh, in, uh, after, f uh, uh, on the last my year, I, I heard the lecture of the same professor, and the name of the lecture was Priority of Russian uh, Scientific in Kubernetes. And the proof was this one. The, uh, it was Nobel laureate uh, mm, Pavlov. Uh, is a physiolog physiologist, physiologist Ivan Pavlov. Pavlov, Nobel, Nobel Prize in maybe 30 years. And the Pavlov learned about uh, Oslovny reflex, uh, conditional reflection, uh, something uh, yeah. uh, by, by Hunz, uh, learned by Hunz. And uh, the, because this philosopher uh, count the drop of uh, Salin, it was mathematics. And because he applied this drop of Salin, this, these numbers to physiology, it was uh, mathematics in biology. What this means, kubernetics is exactly mathematics in biology. So this is a proof, it was a proof of priority Russian scientific in kubernetics. It, it's interesting history, I, ho I hope. Thank you. After you graduated, you uh, lectured at the university? Yes, because uh, it's no, no place in uh, PhD program for me. It was a small place for assistant of of uh, calcul cafeter calculus in in, uh, in the university. And I learn, I learn, I teach some uh, some practice. By the way, at that time, a couple of my uh, co, uh, co students students at the same level, uh, so got the um, распределение. Uh, the the distribution after the after the graduation after the graduation they students, send students people should, to to, to, to work some, somewhere not not to find work but uh, it's uh, they uh, send send to work somewhere and maybe five or six people from my uh, level for my year uh, got the uh, direction to the new uh, new plant in uh, Minsk 
which is exactly the water in kids. Uh, so uh, it was very uh, so th 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 this work this uh, th doesn't work. Uh, it's only only start to 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 produce something. And the first computer what they produced was computer uh, M3, which is uh, developed not developed but uh, design design in Moscow, Moscow. in Moscow. Uh, so and this my my co students. Uh, were sent to Moscow or to Penza to learn something about uh, programming. And because I was, uh, my, my diploma work was the first diploma in programming, in, in, so for me it was interesting what this means. There's still no computer in Minsk. My, uh, so my, my diploma work was programming of some computer or some algebra, prog some algebra problem. And the problem was calculate determinant degree of n. This, it was my uh, my diploma. It's ne it's, this program never worked. <laughs> what language was it? My machine code. Right. For a for a hypothetical machine? For for uh, for M M twenty. M twenty? M twenty. Because yeah. because common or, or for Strela, sorry for Strela. Strela. For Strela because the system of command of this machine was described in in uh, kit of uh, in Kotov book, it's never work. <laughs> now you <laughs> and never debugged. <laughs> you said that some of your students of the same year mm -hmm. uh, were able to go to the factory. Yes, um, but you were not able to go at that point. You had to wait until. No, 19 no, no, I, no. For me, it was. Uh, mm, I hope I will have a place in a PhD program. Uh, for me, it was, uh, th th it was the reason why I stay in university instead of going to the plant. And, and they, got, they got to the plant, the goal was to learn them to have, uh, to have program to test computer, not, uh, not, not speak about, uh, about solving problem. Only, uh, only write down test, com test program to test computer wo where uh, which they start to uh, mm -hmm. to produce. When you did calculations as part of your um, studies, what kind of tools did you use since there were no computers? <laughs> only pencil. Ilya, I didn't the question. Were there any numerical calculation you needed? needed to, были какие-нибудь численные вычисления, которые тебе надо было делать? Mm, no. Algebra doesn't need any numerical No, 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 no. I need only, I need only produce the code which will show and, and, and explain how in result will be the determinant of the value of determinant. In September of 1961, you then joined the factory. Yes. In, in Minsk, uh, what led to the decision to join and how did you uh, get that position? Uh, reason was very, very simple. Uh, so, um, practically, uh, le le let me explain. Every three years, uh, every uh, um, assistant of uh, mathematics or assistance of any cafeteria in university should go to attestation. And uh, because I was uh, not so, um, <laughs> he, he because he wasn't that smart. Я публично высказался, что евреев не неправильно распределяют. He actually was uh, public. so stupid that publicly tell that Jews are not uh, treated uh, well or uh, it, it proper was, way. It was a uh, reason of that. Couple Jewish students, maybe two years, uh, finished the university two years after me, uh, very, uh, by, by distribution, were sent to Penza to computer uh, plant. 
and they turned them back. They didn't, uh, didn't, не взяли. So, so, so the 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 state commission and university sent graduates to Penza uh, factory, and they were sent back because uh, because they were Jews. Uh, and after them, uh, in in uh, in university newspaper about the students were returned, they, they didn't show after after distribution. It uh, it was crime. So so newspaper claimed that they didn't show up at the assigned place, and that's a crime. And after them, I told in, in public conference. Why they try to punish them? They d not not foil, uh, not their foil. You you send them wrongly, and after them, uh, why you punish them? You should uh, don't 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 lie. It was enough for uh, not not pro not pro um, prolong the dogger. Not, ex not to extend the not tagging. extend the dogger. And after them, I, I, I make a choice where to go. Uh, it was one, one academic in Academy of Science of Belarus, uh, the name Krylov. Uh, by the way, is uh, uh, so Nobel Prize in Economic, Kantarovich, linear programming. And Kantarovich and Krylov were uh, some author of some book in, in uh, uh, in, uh, integral of about uh, calculation of integrals in Russia. It was very popular, popular uh, school, school book. So Krylov was co-author with Co-author Kantarovich. Uh, so Vladimir Ivanovich Krylov uh, so, uh, предложил мне идти в академию. He, he actually invited him to go to, to the Russian to, Academy of Science. To, to like like младший научный сотрудник, uh, lower uh, scientific, uh, the, 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 <laughs> scientist, the, the, the lower research, scientist, the researcher. But I, but uh, because I um, was interested in computers, I, I decided to go to to uh, plant. And at that time, uh, three years which I, which I worked in university, I visited them. And uh, we discussed uh, something interesting, and I understand what they're doing. And it was inter more interesting for me uh, to go to go to plant instead of ac academy because I I can forget about uh, scientific career. So let's talk about the uh, the plant. Um, how was it? How was it organized? Uh, what was the purpose of it? Uh, were there different? Um, goals, different products, part of the organization. Uh, what was the purpose of the plant? Uh, at that time, the plant only only produced one computer, M3, M3. and uh, so it was. It was uh, so mechanical, uh, mechanical, 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 mechanical uh, floor. So floor may be more, may be uh, ideal. Yeah, so they produce uh, 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 They produce <laughs> the the boxes. The, not the, the boxes, but <laughs> well, <laughs> wardrobe for <laughs> for, right. the, for sales. The enclosures. Uh, yeah, enclosures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And they produce some uh, uh, okay, uh, small. Uh, механические части компьютера. They, they, they produce all the mechanical, not electronic uh, parts. Uh, of, of so, computer. Uh, because the computer was in, in, in bulb, yes, it was some, uh, some, uh, some electric part. And people on this part was from radio plant. Radio plant were in, in Minsk maybe before, before computers. So this was a this was a new factory. That new was factory, built. yes. Can you say the full name of the factory and uh, the organization? Завод, uh, вычислитель, 
машин. Нет, завод имени Орженикидзе, без э, указания, что он делает. So, so it was uh, plant named after Орженикидзе, and officially didn't say what, 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 what was produced. Uh, the similar, similar plant was in, in Minsk, завод Ленина, and they doing uh, radio. So there was uh, radio plant. Uh, uh, only only plant of uh, tractors on uh, on auto so has the name what they doing auto zavod or maybe tractor zavod uh, uh, plants which doing something uh, not uh, not open uh, has only only name for example uh, optical name uh, has na optical plant has name vavilov vavilov was Uh, physics uh, in optics and plant uh, Vavilo names uh, right now doing приборы uh, ночного видения для they do night vision goggles on right now <laughs> up, to this, up to this year so, so, so the, the practice was like there were uh, factories with just numbers that Or was just like the, 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 that was kind of the highest the highest secret and plan Factories with just names without explanation of what they were they doing. And the car factory and tractor factory had like the proper it names. It was it was open for for people. And I understand that plant was under the Ministry of the Radio. Yes, but Ministry of the Radio was later. Uh, at that time, it was uh, de decentralization of Soviet uh, promotions industry industry and uh, and all industry in months in Minsk was. Совнархоз БССР, Совет народного хозяйства. Yeah, so 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 uh, there was a period of decentralization, so the ministries were not in Moscow, but there was like uh, industry council of the of, of this, of this and territory, it, 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 and it was was and, kind of and radio radio ministry so appeared later in maybe. In maybe 62nd or, or 62, yeah, 63 so years. So after, after Khrushchev. In, in, yeah, in 1963 or 64, they returned to centralization. To centralization and, uh, and of, of by, by kind of industry. What were you hired for? What was your what was the job that you were hired for? Um, so at, at that time, it's already exist. Uh, Scientific uh, uh, отдел, отдел department. department. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scientific department of of machine mathematics, and uh, uh, boss of this department was Stolarov, Gennady Konstantinovich Stolarov, very active and very uh, um, and uh, people who. who Who can who can explain something to uh, to um, administration to administration to, 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 to management yeah, to, to management to uh, to uh, speak speak interestingly and uh, uh, with with great belief and uh, yeah, yeah. great empowerment. Uh, It, the name of this department was not not software, not uh, not programming, uh, not not, uh, uh, not but scientific and uh, com and computer mathematics. Word programming uh, no, not used. And what uh, the reason I, I I got the job like maybe uh, Sovietnik. Advisor, uh, advisor of Stolarov, because uh, so uh, almost all people who who work in this department or learn with, uh, with me together in the university or was my students in these three in these three years and some exemption was of that, but most of them knows me, and uh, and uh, it was easy for me to speak to speak to them. So your first position at the plant was in Stolarov's mm -hmm. department. Uh, yes, it was a uh, starship engineer. 
uh, senior engineer. Senior engineer, and uh, senior engineer, it was maybe highest position in, in these departments. Because next position was leading engineer, it was no leading engineer at that time. So Stolyarov ran the software. Uh, the word software, it was uh, <laughs> not existing <laughs> in that time. And uh, so uh, let me again tell you something. something. In uh, English, ho hardware and software are maybe equivalent parts, not equivalent, but uh, parts of computers. Hardware and software are different parts of computer. In Russian, computer is computer, and in this software is mathematical обеспечение of computer, or something second uh, role, not, not the, the same role. And, uh, mathematical service service for, for computer. computer. And this is the reason why, why uh, the mathematician in uh, in plant was the uh, second class. second class, yes, not the first class of people. Can you talk about uh, Georgi Pavlovich Lopato? Georgi Pavlovich Lopato uh, at that time was главный инженер. Главный инженер СКБ. СКБ is Special Const Construction, Construction Bureau. Bureau. So part, part of, uh, of plant, engineering part of plant, but uh, not uh, production, but uh, some development. So something. he was uh, the uh, chief engineering officer, we would say, mm -hmm. here yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, of yes. Uh, Special Construction Bureau, which was design part of the... De design so, part so, of so the, by, the by, plan. By, by, by that part, M3 was designed not in Minsk, but they already open the design. So uh, practically, Georgi Pavlovich works in in uh, institute in Moscow, where the M3 was uh, was uh, design. designed. And uh, when when M3 when documentation to produce M3 come to Minsk, couple uh, engineers from this uh, institute come to Minsk also. You mentioned uh, earlier uh, places like Penza, for example. Mm -hmm. What was the relationship with these other plants? Uh, so plant plant in Penza may be a couple of years older than than uh, than Minsk than Minsk plant, and uh, some people from Penza come to Minsk because it was maybe capital of Belarus and Penza is provincial. Uh, city, uh, some in, in uh, wherever. So uh, the first one was Prelkovsky uh, Viktor Vladimirovich, which later became general constructor of uh, of ESOM of uh, of clones of IBMs. Uh, so Prelkovsky was uh, uh, so um, chief of design of, uh, design of Minsk II. So what you say was a collegial relationship where people working together or was it uh, was there competition no there's no competition but it's because uh, we were a friend with them and we can discuss something if it was internet at that time but it's <laughs> so uh, the second uh, plant the second plant at the same time which appeared was in Yerevan and in Kazan at the same time, the, uh, the, these plants appeared like in the Minsk, maybe one, two years of difference. In Kiev later. What about the institutes that were militarily funded? Uh, did you have any exposure to the military work that was happening? Uh, the, a couple of years later, uh, in part of plant, was closed some doors and uh, they produced something for military and we didn't know about that only the name uh, somebody told us and some people appeared it was it was military computers not computers not military computers but computer used in 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 military what about uh the institutes in, in moscow like uh Lebedev and the uh, factories there was there an exchange of ideas were there people who uh, you knew it, it's it's uh, at that time no later yes but at that time no because this was not 
Uh, at that time, we have some contacts with uh, with Moscow University, with uh, uh, Computer Center of Academy of Science in Moscow, and some people with them. First of all, for example, I can recall a uh, conference of computer mathematics in 1959, which was in Moscow University. And at that conference, maybe a couple, uh, couple hundred of people which work with computers uh, around the USR, we, we meet with them. Before that, I can maybe recall uh, mathematical conference f number four in in uh, St. Petersburg, sorry, Leningrad, at, and in 1961, not before, but at the, at the, at the, it was the first section of computer mathematics. And we heard in this section maybe uh, some presentation about Algol 60 and uh, Algol 58 before that, and, uh, and uh, some Bacchus normal form of something, something interesting for for uh, for us, and you were able to attend uh, those conferences. Is my yeah, I, I was able, but it was my my uh, personal decision. Uh, no no money <laughs> from from <laughs> from my work. What was your first assignment when you started working at the plant? Do you recall the first uh, project you worked on, the first task? Uh, um, so uh, they will try the people in the in this department try to write down the book uh, about programming for Minsk one. And because I was a professor in university, a professor in some like, and uh, uh, Stolarov proposed me uh, to make a sketch. What should what should we? What should we write? How the book should be? Or with chapters? Uh, so maybe. Предложи содержание. So he, he, he was requested to do outline of. The what what, the what in, in which order should be written in this book, and to 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 make this, I should write down uh, some program for Minsk uh, one, to to understand how how it works. And, and my first my first program was. Uh, Count square root of x in in, uh, in this in this uh, computer. So that was on a Minsk one, hmm? uh, on a Minsk one mm -hmm. machine. Did you have uh, physical access to these machines? Yes, uh, on, on on the plant we have this we had this machine. Okay, so the it was my first my first visit to computer. So the first program you wrote that ran uh -huh. on an actual machine was square root Minsk calculation. Minsk square root of x. Yes. Okay, great. Were you uh, involved in any of the other earlier Minsk machines, like the uh, there were specialized machines for telemetry and, and so uh, forth? No, I, I only uh, only heard about that, about telemetry, about uh, fingerprints. It was some modification of of Minsk one, and it was uh, uh, unique exemplars, one or two, maybe no more. So you then became involved with. Uh, Work on the Minsk two. Yes, um, in, 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 in Minsk two, if I came in in uh, on this place, Minsk two was already uh, almost almost spread around design design, design of and design. some some uh, some easy parts, some easy questions, and this I I can discuss with my with my friend, with my coworker to do something with about this one. Uh, so Minsk II was предъявлен госкомиссии, как это сказать? He was, uh, uh, it was, uh, the, 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 the computers were accepted by state commissions, so mm -hmm. the, it, it, the it presentation to, to state commission was... It maybe, was maybe in one year after I came to, to uh, and at that time I already uh, start to start to write down something for this for this. What were machines like the Minsk one and then the Minsk two uh, used for? Uh, well, uh, 
as as uh, sometimes one specialist told uh, from the Tribune on conference, uh, if you will stop all computers which are now working in the Soviet Union at that moment and ask what they are doing, maybe, maybe more than 50% of them will uh, will convert number from 10 to 2 or from 2 to 10. То есть, понятно. Нет, не понял. Значит, если, как, как сказал кто-то на конференции, если вы сейчас остановите все машины, работающие в Советском Союзе, больше 50% из них будет занято переводом из 2 к 10 или из 10. Yeah, so at, at some conference uh, somebody said that if you uh, do kind of time slice of all the computers of Soviet Union, at that moment half of them would be converting from decimal to, to binary system or backward. Or, or, or backward. But what uh, 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 First of all, it was uh, uh, some example in, in, in technic. And uh, very seldom it was economic, because, uh, because on, on Minsk, uh, on Minsk <coughs> one, we already got the salary from, from computer. It was uh, some узкая лента. Не панч тайм, принтед он. Как сейчас приходите в дом и принтед с телефона. Как этот один. Так что был принт тайм, как, я не знаю, в кэшерах. И без лета, только диджитами. И диджитами это было как number and, uh, and some, uh, и сумма денег, которую я получал, и налоги. Вот так выдавалась первая зарплата. So, uh, the salary calculation, the, 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 the payroll calculation, it would be just numbers, uh, the, the totals, and, and the taxes. Uh, taxes, and that's all. And, and that's all, and, and it would uh, get out in the from uh, narrow so, tape mm, and c cut them and uh, distribute them. It was very seldom. It was big, uh, big decision. Проектировщики ячеек что-то считали теплоту, что-то вот такое. Uh, so there were some engineering ca calculations and, uh, for the, the, uh, by, by using some formulas in which they count before them and by pencil they count they pro pro they program this formula and count something something scientific that's all so they were used for both uh, what we would call business and scientific computing? Uh, not for business, for some economic, economic. better to say, yes, and, uh, for, uh, and for science. And because uh, our computer was very, very slow, not for big science, for small problems, separate, for small separate problem. Did you ever have interactions with uh, programmers for Minsk II or Minsk 22 machines that were not at the plant, but at other plants, or maybe even in other countries For where sure. these machines were used? For sure. It was uh, later, because we, 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 we uh, so developed a, a system of programming of the Aftakota engineer. It was for an engineer problem, problem. and uh, maybe I have the, the Kartateka. Uh, the uh, card uh, uh, about these users, maybe 300. 300 uh, names in, in this one from all country and uh, and sometimes from um, e Europe because our because our computer go to uh, Praga to Warsaw to Budapest and whatever and they, 22? Uh, not Minsk one no, but not Minsk, Minsk 2 or 22 right and I'm sorry you had over 300 users for of the code engineer yes more more than 300 okay Talk about talk about that uh, programming system. Okay, let I go. So uh, if I came if I came to this plant, they start already this this uh, this, pro this, pro this project, and uh, so uh, 
the, the leader of that was my, my co-students, uh, we learned together, Tsegelsky Vladimir Iosifovich, Tsegelsky. То есть он вел эту, он вел эту разработку. Prime designer for 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 for, 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 for this uh, was Sagelsky. So it was very interesting because uh, because we we start to uh, develop, develop the own language, and uh, it was a lot of discussion uh, about that. For example, should be in Russian or should be in English. Uh, so uh, how how to uh, how to express numbers. Uh, how to how to uh, write down the program? How to put it in input? What will be output? Uh, we, uh, we try to look something uh, outside of country and uh, and show Fortran uh, and some for transit. It was uh, some uh, variant before Fortran, and after that we uh, some finish about that and develop the language first. Uh, it was maybe like basic, but but it was before basic. I can show. I have the book about that. I can show how it looks. It looks in in Russia, for example, вычислить, calculate, calculate or повторить, repeat, repeat. or uh, если if uh, and go on. It was like uh, like uh, language to speak about this. Напечатать, print something или там ввод, input, ну и and go on. Was it was the implementation of that language as a compiler, as an interpreter? Compiler. Again, was discussion what is better, compiler or interpreter, and what and how to how to so connect this program with machine code sometimes. So how to how to go uh, so p pieces which are uh, re written in machine code, how, how to call uh, standard program or, or and everything this one. It was very uh, new for uh, the, uh, this time and it was interesting for us to work with that. And, uh, and it was like, like later the people, scientific people told us, it was very at, uh, in time because uh, they learn about uh, uh, so using of this language. They prepared for uh, using Fortran and, and our, our, our goal later. It was good for for physics, for engineering, and whatever. And the machines that this was implemented on the um, it was Minsk two. Minsk two. Minsk two after the Minsk twenty two. Minsk two and twenty two uh, not big difference uh, and. and uh, in uh, so uh, right now it will uh, we can say it, uh, means uh, you can uh, easy to go from means two to means two so connect couple more uh, more periphery perif uh, periphery uh, and, uh, and so make memory more bigger and that's all. So the architecture of the no, 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 everything uh, everything was uh, almost same. Okay, but there was no. Uh, uh, interactive I.O., there were no disk drives. Uh, it, it, it was no, uh, no display, no interactive, it was only tele, uh, teletype. A teletype like, like maybe example of what to do. And, and one of, uh, one of way to work with Autocode was work from teletype. It was possible to put from teletype the program, but it was very hard and long. It was only for demonstration how Autocode is working. And the, uh, mm, uh, so the best way was to prepare the program on uh, tape and put the, uh, the, uh, and in input this program from, from the tape. Did these the machines paper. have magnetic tape as well? Yes, mag magnetic ta tape, yes. Mag and it was only one kind of, um, of uh, memory uh, after. Uh, on, on, uh, and there would be printed output? Uh, print, but printed output in the beginning was small, and after some big ACPU, Alphavit, not Cifravoy, 
печатающие устройства. So, one to one eight, one to one eight. Uh, so, so started with narrow tape, numerical tape, and mm. then it was alpha numerical. In Minsk two, it was only numerical. In Minsk two, it was so this one. one. one In Minsk two, uh, it, it, it was uh, possible I uh, output on teletype also. What what other languages were you involved in? You said that you looked at Fortran and Algo and so forth. Uh, what about COBOL? We, we, we learn about COBOL. We, we start to do something with COBOL and choose some sub-COBOL to impl implement in Minsk 22, and it was, re it was done uh, maybe in 1969 or 70. And it, it was, was a subset of COBOL? Su sub, sub of yeah, yeah, subset, it yes. Subset of because because uh, it's, it's only tapes, no, no, no disk, no, and it's only uh, update only. How big was the team that did this work? Uh, Autocode uh, for engineering, we, we work in uh, four, maybe five people. Uh, COBOL, it was maybe around 10 or no more than 12. Yeah. Were they um, men, women, different ages? Uh, so, mm, women more than men. Because, because, because programming was women uh, major in, 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 uh, in the university in that time. And the age? Was mm? Age? I, will, I was older. Okay. But you were, you were still a young man at the time. You were yes, in your, no. in your, in your uh, 30s. Al almost 30. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, all of them, three, five years. Okay, so they're so mid-20s. 25. 25. Yeah. Uh, yes, 22, 25. But after university, immediately. Young specialist is, is, is uh, of official name of, of uh, this person, the, the, the this kind of yeah, person. Yes, you graduate young specialist. A young right. specialist after, gradu after graduation. You mentioned earlier that um, you know, what we would call hardware was seen as maybe a more important, a more, impo a more mm -hmm. respected mm -hmm. job. Um, how did that affect um, compensation and career uh, possibilities? Uh, okay. it's, first of all, this effect of salary. Because, because all bosses was hard people, not software people. And uh, so, b a little bit later, uh, when, when the computers um, started to be more used, when mm -hmm. computers became more popular, mm -hmm. and people had some places to go, Стало немножко легче. Then, then it became a little bit better for the for better the for the programmer. And so I, I, I remember maybe a couple of first years, uh, our goal was to to teach bosses the program are uh, more important than hardware. Software is more important than hardware because hardware is changeable. A program having the life to solve something. Did they, yeah, believe yeah, you? Did they believe you? Uh, not, not always they believe. Uh, by the way, about the, about the terminology, mm. the word mathematical, uh, mathematical обеспечение. Mathematical services. Uh, not service. No. Это, no, no, not I service. Don't know. Mm. Mm. Это, это not, not mathematical service. How to find the correct? <laughs> the correct English English word, uh, mathematical. We can subsistence, we can do this later. whatever. Uh, we, like I will find later and send you. It was uh, like subsistence. Uh, I would say. So uh, appeared uh, very uh, strange. Uh, Strangely, uh, the, the the term itself was the term strange. Is, uh, so. Uh, some uh, sometimes uh, the uh, user of computer sends the letters to us. And uh, so, uh, and one letter uh, asked uh, s from some plant, uh, can't send, can't, it was in Minsk too, can't you send, send to us some, some um, poloprovodnikov? Uh, uh, some uh, diodes or whatever. No, no to, to, to change uh, something which is, doesn't work. And by the way, send 
some program if you some mathematical program if you have it. Значит, uh, uh, Stalarov uh, gave me this this uh, letter and told me uh, prepare the answer. Uh, what uh, uh, tell them we will send you uh, the diet, but uh, but. Uh, Sending of not sending, but обеспечение математики мы не занимаемся. But we don't. Uh, we, we can send you some hardware pieces, but, but not we, mathematics. But we don't do. Don't <laughs> обеспечиваем вас математикой. Вот отсюда взялось математическое обеспечение. We can't provide mathematics. Oh, oh so, providing. So, so, so like yeah, mathematical providing, providing would be probably the yes. best term for for, for computers. For, yes. For математическое обеспечение. Mm -hmm. Providing. Maybe. Yeah. I will try to find it <laughs> somewhere. So there, meanwhile, was uh, some research going on in programming languages in places like Novosibirsk. And have you had interactions with the team there, with people like Yakshov, and how, uh, how did that mm, develop? So, let, let me recall. Uh, first time I met Yershov in 1962. Uh, at that time, uh, Novosibirsk uh, Academy of Science uh, Department in, Sib in Siberia only appeared from 59. And Stalarov decided to go to understand what they doing in computer because uh, because name в вычислительный центр Сибирского отделения uh, уже Exist at that time. So there was already a name of computing center of Siberian uh, Department of Academy of Science, but, but they, they nobody they knows what know. they're doing. Uh, so uh, Stalarov and me uh, so have the uh, trip to the Novosibirsk, and uh, in Akadem uh, Gorodok, where they are located, was in in. Uh, in forest, some couple, couple homes only, and uh, Yershov department was in some quarter. In, in in the apartment. In, in one apartment. apartment. In the kitchen was Yershov uh, cabinet, and two bedrooms was of uh, of office of of department, and uh, they they started uh, Algol translator for M twenty. It was number three translator. Number one was in uh, TA1 uh, leader Lavrov in Korolev. Uh, in nuclear research. In, no, no, Co Cosmos. Oh, uh, Korolev Space, space yes, Center. Space, space, space. space. And second one in uh, Institute Keldes, where is President Keldes was director. ИПМ, Институт прикладной математики в Москве, Шуравура, Михаил Романович и Любимский, they take TA2. TA1, TA2 и Альфа was три транслейтер from, uh, from Algol. In, and it was the first conference about these translators in Kiev in 1963. And this is the um, first time I meet with Yershov, Шуравура, uh, Kurchkin and, uh, and a lot of a lot of uh, famous uh, computer person in in Soviet Union. We can, we can contact with them, but they told uh, they look of, of us like high person to the because because they have big computers and they uh, they calculation was ten times more than our and and go on go on. By the way, more important they can. They can we just the grandis. They they could have the trips abroad. Yes, and can con can can have contact with with outside of Soviet Union, but we we didn't. How, that was my next question. How did you learn about developments in the West? Uh, read the read the magazines only. Only read a couple of magazines. If I first time visit museum, I saw the book what I had maybe on my table four years ago. For example, McCracken, right. 
the Fortran book yes, that was translated yes, yes, into yes, Russian. Yes, and, and, and maybe more. more. And, and I, 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 remem I still remember the uh, Abloska. Uh, the cover. Uh, covers uh, of magazine. Did you, did you fly on the, on the, um, on the plane which is debugged li like your program? Would <laughs> would you would, would you, you like to, would, would you like to fly on the plane which is debugged as your program? Полетите ли вы на самолете, который отлажен так как ваша программа? This question is yeah, still, good question. still reasonable. Good question. What was what were the magazines you read? Communication of the ASM, first of all. Okay. And how did you how did you get that? Uh, it was very very difficult to to prove we need them to get dollars for for subscribe. It was one exemplar in bibliotheque and we made copy of them. In library, yes. So at that point, uh, we're in uh, circa uh, the mid-1960s now, 64, 65. Mm -hmm. um, you moved on to work on the development of the Minsk 32. Uh, I will tell you. How did that, how did that transition <coughs> for you personally work? What was your work? And f from a technology perspective, how did the Minsk 32 okay. come to you? It's maybe diff different questions. So Minsk 2 and 22 uh, was produced. At that time was produced Minsk 23. 23 was uh, computer like uh, IBM uh, 14, or one, uh, or 1410, something else, with, with uh, changeable lengths of words, with symbolic, uh, so uh, no, no copy, no, uh, no clone, but uh, ideas from this one. And uh, uh, Minsk 22 uh, uh, and Minsk 23 not, not compatible, so for sure. And because we, uh, maybe partially from we should prove so programs are important, more important than than ho hardware. Uh, so Przelkowski, which uh, at that time was a clown engineer, and Lopato at that time was uh, chief of of, a, of SKB. Uh, it was separately from the plane, but connected with plane. Uh, they decided uh, uh, it's necessary to prolong the Minsk 22. Uh, not only to go with 23, but with uh, make some some series um, read uh, couple 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 program um, compatible computers. So it was uh, our uh, our department was uh, split, разделён, uh, yeah? uh, on three departments. One of them go to. 20, continue with 22, second one with 23, and the uh, smallest with 32 and 32. Uh, uh, and I became the chief of this department. And my goal was uh, so uh, take part in in uh, uh, design of Minsk 32. It was uh, 1967, beginning 1967. So we had the goal have computer which is compatible with Minsk 22, but more более uh, современный. Powerful, more modern. Yeah, more, more, modern. More, more, more modern. So that's all in the beginning. And then you worked on a uh, system software for mm -hmm. the Minsk 32, uh, the dispatcher. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about what the function of it was and and how that project okay. was organized? Okay. okay. So uh, it was just multi-programming first of all. We had four program. Uh, we have uh, we have um, the the goal was uh, so um, wo work at the same time processor and com and periphery. So. So the idea was to, to, to be able simultaneously the processor mm -hmm. like, and the like multi programming can uh, everywhere. Uh, so again no uh, memory no uh, ext uh, no memory cromelente. Никакой внешней памяти кроме ленты. The external memory only tape. Uh, so uh, uh, 
но но не ее периферии, он за сэм, периферийные устройства за сэм с минск твони три, без за сэм интерфейс, so it was maybe good good decision to keep the same printers for both computers, so so we have uh, two limits, one limit the same like Minsk 22 memory, and second, the same like Minsk 23 periphery. It was like short corridor to work for us. And then the uh, system software, the, the dispatcher, mm -hmm. you said it was a small team that worked on the 32, on uh, the 32. Uh, so uh, starting with has might be, uh, might be 15 people, and in the uh, highest period, it was maybe up to 100, like this one. But uh, when the computer appeared, it was maybe in, uh, 40, 35. So s scaling a system software team like that quickly mm -hmm. is very difficult. Mm -hmm. It was and very difficult to, to manage all of that. To, to to distribute the work to, and don't forget to understand what's happened because because it was first time multi-programming and first and first time uh, mo modular uh, modular style of programming yes. so how to how to split the program for the pieces and how to uh, combine them later how much technical work did you do on this and how much project management personnel Work did you do? Uh, I don't. I didn't have time to to write down myself something. I only start to to try and uh, and uh, give something to to explain something and to go to finish them. Where did all these programmers uh, come from? Were they newly brought into uh, the project? Were they already working on other things? How did you uh, get them? So, uh, first of all, it was our, our previous team, we, we, and after them a little bit uh, more uh, from the, for example, 22 moved to, to 32 and new student, students from the university. Because at the same time, all of us make, making some diploma uh, students, uh, so learn them. Yes, so the the graduate students last year of graduation mm -hmm. was, it's like was like circle work can you talk a little bit about the the tools and processes you use to develop the software uh, okay uh, for sure uh, we have we have uh, uh, everything what we did we did on minsk 22 and uh, first of all we did cross translator which works on minsk 22 and produce the program for minsk 32 and after them, it was my uh, maybe duty to understand what should we do first, what should we do next, and how to start this this transfer from from 22 to to 32. What uh, which which part of program do uh, here? Which uh, do, which part part of program debug uh, here on some in the, in the interpret new new commands? Which and after them, how to move them? To Minsk 32. It was. Mm -hmm. Did you already have a working Minsk 32 machine to do this on? No, it, it, it was at the same time Minsk 32 machine. It, it appeared on me at that time. Uh, we, we can't work uh, with this machine before they appeared, and after them, uh, before them, we work on Minsk 22, making some model of this 32. On this, it was very slow, but it, but it works. It it, it was it it was. Uh, I believe the interesting uh, process cr cross. Uh, so, so uh, my my uh, PhD PhD uh, dissertation dissertation thesis thesis PhD thesis. Uh, what exactly uh, which method we had used to produce. Uh, software for computer which is do not exist at that time. It, it was my thesis. So it was like real interpreter? Or the no, 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 not full. Oh, so it was partial? Not full. And this was all in assembly language? Uh, uh, it was in assembly language. 
because we because first of, first of all we make cross translator from assembler for means working on means 22 so we 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 uh, design uh, assembler language for 32 but first uh, interpret uh, first compiler was on working on on 22 and because we can we can chance to paper tape move from from one computer to this one it was also possible how did you plan the work what was the project management technique was this mm, only, pa only paper <laughs> was it was it all was it all done as one big project were there separate smaller projects where there are small increments uh, it was my deal to split it for some pieces and to uh, and to explain uh, the next next level of people wh what we what we need to do to 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 make them work together and that's all so you invented modular programmer for, for yourself of course, you do of course. <laughs> or you read it about this somewhere no uh, so я не могу вспомнить, откуда взялось слово модульное программирование. He can't remember where the term modular programming came from, but mm -hmm. it was kind of mm -hmm. idea which arose no, itself. если там я могу встать. Can I uh, we, we can look at it. Yeah, look at it at the end. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, but I have after referat uh, my my uh, thesis, and it was one of them. It was uh, index modulnosti program. How how to measure and how to compare? Uh, how how modular is the program? That, it that was, part, part of his thesis was mm -hmm. how to measure modularity mm -hmm. of, of the program. Now you uh, attended the um, 1970 All Union Conference on Programming, and I yes. believe there was yes. a paper presented on the Minsa yes. 32 there. Yes. Um, but you did not attend the first one in 1968, correct? In, we attended, but it is exactly maybe one week after after we finished Minsa 32. Okay. Um, so, in this year, it will be 50 years of Minsk 32, the 2nd of November of 1968. And the first conference of programming in the SSR uh, opened 14 of November in the same year. So we you, attended, the, you attended we, both conferences yes, and presented I, at the second one? No, no, no presentation of, of uh, first conference, but presentation of the second. second. Okay. What, did, what was the uh, reception of this uh, the system by the other people, where uh, there was there were other operating system projects going on at the same time. Uh, what was the community of uh, system engineers, okay. system programmers? Uh, what was their response? Когда мы сдавали автокод в шестьдесят пятом году, when they were releasing автокод engineer for Minsk in sixty five, nineteen sixty five. Uh, some people from uh, Computer Center of Academy of Science in Moscow come to accept this one. And they wonder why, uh, how close we are to, to them in their uh, algol uh, interpretation. And after them, we got some, maybe, uh, they, they, they got some respect. Some uh, respect uh, from uh, from other from other computer people in in the ESR. So what is the reason? Uh, so uh, five five maybe I don't remember exactly five or four presentation about Minsk 32 was accepted in in Novosibirsk in, in 1970. And I believe 1970 was also the year when you received the. Uh, the Lenin Komsomol mm -hmm. Prize. Mm -hmm. um, what was that prize awarded for? Uh, in 1968, uh, so uh, the, the um, highest level of our institute, Lopatov, Przalkovsky, Smirnov, Stalarov, they, they got uh, 
государственную премию. State price. It was so in in Soviet Union we have we have two level of prizes. Lenin Prize is highest. State Prize. Before that, it was Stalin Prize is next, and Lenin Komsomol Prize is the next level of, and it was some um, age restriction. You should be uh, nor, uh, not older than 33 years to get this prize. And uh, so first of all, uh, our uh, bosses, uh, Prilalkovsky and Lopato, decided to um, решили выдвинуть на на премию decided to 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 present to present to, to to get to get decided to present to get this pre, this learning only two people uh Pichtin, Vadim and me yes so originally they 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 they, they, they uh, presented only two people to two to people the to got to got this this prize uh, so my colleague in hardware and and me has My colleague, the name of this colleague is Pichtin Vadim. Uh, after them, the uh, Komsomol uh, Committee uh, the, told the it's not, committee. It's not, it's not, uh, no chances to get it. There should be more people. And after them, so uh, we'll add a couple people more, one of plant, one of Academy of Science, and couple from our institute to get, to get the team And to get the team with uh, this formulaovka, mm, with the uh, title of the with, prize, no, no, the title of the prize, the участие в разработке ЭВМ типа Минск, for taking for taking part, part in in, in uh, 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 the work for the Minsk computer, yeah, Minsk computer. Yeah, yeah, to to develop to to design and develop Minsk Minsk computer. It Without mentioning of Minsk 32, mm, just mm, Minsk. No, no, Minsk, mm. only Minsk, mm. all together. Uh, one person was from Plant, one person was from Academy of Science, and four person from our institute, two of them from, from Minsk 32. So uh, they decided to, to, to give the prize not for all Minsk, not for Minsk 32, but Minsk 32 was The popular computer in in uh, Soviet Union about 3,000 computer for this uh, altogether uh, 15,000 computer was produced in the, in the in the Soviet Union, but at the time it was the, the, the biggest present. Do you think that uh, at that point by 1970 that programming was more respected than it was when you first started? Sure, sure, more respected. Uh, but next level, uh, uh, we started to tell data more important than programs. <laughs> Not necessary to keep to keep uh, programs. Necessary to keep data in good in good uh, form. To because data will use will used later. Then program will die, but data will need, you will need. As as programming becomes more respected, did the people who choose that field change? Do you see a change in uh, who studies programming? Do you see maybe a change? Uh, uh, you no, there, there, there was more, more bright, uh, more people. It was not only university prepare the programmers. It is only a, lo a lot of institutes, a lot of uh, when, places. When the applied mathematics became separate? Applied mathematics became separate in 1971. Between uh, 1970 and 75, you kept working on Minsk 32 yes, projects. We, we, yes, we uh, we supervised uh, and rescheduled. So they did updates and they did maintenance and, and, it was and at support. that time it was uh, first of all it was very very difficult to uh, to explain to plant why it's necessary. Why necessary to send old uh, customers new versions and go on, go on? Uh, no, no internet, <laughs> no, no update only. And at that point, you decided to pursue your your PhD in, yes. in 1975, and uh, I believe that was at uh, the at an institute in, in Tallinn, in Estonia. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, locate there? The 
объясни, что ты делал диссертацию у Ершова в Новосибирске, а защищался в Таллине. So, PhD program in, in Soviet Union uh, are different. Sometimes it's possible to have PhD program in the, uh, in the high school, no, not high school, but in the university. Uh, uh, sometimes it's possible to present your uh, thesis without learning in, in this program. Uh, so uh, my, my uh, PhD thesis I, I did uh, by uh, Yershov in Novosibirsk. But to find where to uh, to защитить, uh -huh. to, to defend the, the, the thesis, the, the, uh, it, it was his, so his, 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 Minsk 32, number two, uh, so we'll send in, in Italian Institute Kubernetes, and they, they know about me because it was uh, first computer and we, we, we work very, very close with them. This is the reason why Irshov decided it will be easy for me to, to present my, uh, my thesis in Tallinn, and, uh, not, not in Minsk, not in Moscow. No. Easy. Mark Easy doesn't to display because, because he is Jewish and it's like really hard to, to, to find, do, to find, to, to find the place where you will not, uh, not pay attention to that. But you stayed in Minsk during the Yes, I stayed, time. yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. I, I, I made my, my thesis in Minsk only. Okay. Now, after, after that, um, you start working on the, uh, the ES, the, the Riyadh uh, series of machines. Okay, let <laughs> How did you find out about <laughs> No, no, no. Let, let me tell you. All right. In 1969 or maybe 70, when, when it was decision to, to make copy of IBM, uh, I will uh, against that. I, I told it's not necessary. I told it's wrong way. Um, maybe it's good to make the clone, but don't stop the uh, own, uh, uh, own work about the, the designing the computer. And... Uh, uh, so, uh, and I, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to work with ES uh, uh, until it was possible. But after '75, it was impossible because in '73, plant the stop uh, means to and 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 so, uh, and uh, I work in uh, in um, computer center of institute to make some technology instead of working with, uh, in development of, in, in designing of ES computers. And only in 81, only in 1981, uh, when, uh, when IBM PC uh, appeared, so was my, was not only my, but couple people, uh, told the bosses, it, it's time to make personal computers in, in, uh, oh, in, in Soviet Union. And, this, and I turned back to, 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 um, to Krasrobotke, design. to design of computer uh, in personal computer era only. I, I, did, I didn't work with ESOM in ES 1020, 1030, ES 1035, was special computer, uh, so IBM 370, which has uh, compatibility with Minsk 32. And a uh, couple of my, uh, of my co-workers from my department go to ES to help them to make this compatibility. When I appeared in his department, he still had more than half of people doing support and 32. Uh, of 32 and half of the department was doing something for some for work years. for years. Something so was, was interesting. So in the second half of the 1970s, after you mm -hmm. did your PhD and before the work on personal computers mm -hmm. started, uh, the Minsk uh, plan switched over to ES. And uh, what, what were you working on specifically? Uh, we had... Uh, 
real IBM 370 in our in our computer center, and uh, our our goal was to um, uh, adopt this 370 to people who working with that, to help them to um, to make uh, compatibility better better than, and uh, we we didn't work in 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 uh, разработке. Design. In design, but it did it, it, work it, it, in technology. Yeah, so it wasn't system. We, he didn't. We didn't do system design, but we did some application level programming, uh, CICS, uh, and and stuff. And uh, actually, the real IBM T70, which was imported mm -hmm. and, and and supported by IBM for for quite few years, uh, was responsibility of. of of his department, and that and that computer center was part of part the of part of yeah, part of institute a part of institute part of, institute. Part okay. of computer. Uh, at, this, at, this, at this time, we were not SKB or already Computer Research Institute, NIEVM. Okay, so but it was it was the follow-on organization. Yes. So your your employer did not change. You still were in the same organization. Yes, yes. But yes. it has changed. S same table, <laughs> same table, same ta same chair, different name. Okay, great. Now there are a number of uh, different uh, IBM 360 and 370 clones mm -hmm. that came out of uh, Minsk. Some of them, uh, I believe, the ES 1020, the original one, was done with in collaboration with a plant in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. um, were you involved in that at all? Uh, no, uh, I only involved if they came to to us. If they came to us, uh, sometimes they ask me what we doing about that. But I never uh, can chance to to visit them. And then there's also uh, a later generation, the ES ten thirty seven. That mm -hmm. uh, ten thirty seven. It was maybe. Uh, a, a little bit new computer for not 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 directly copy of of some uh, of some uh, IBM computers and a little bit I I try to work with them it was interesting for because uh, yeah, he knows better yeah, actually he knows I, better. Wor I work on the he knows better. <laughs> yeah so 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 part of his department was still uh, kind of supporting CICS clone and like translation of some original IBM to uh, to Russian and mm -hmm. software to Russian and whatever. But 1037, the was kind of original. It wasn't clone of any specific IBM machine. It, it was. It was it attempt was to uh, attempt to make something uh, something original, but in the same. In the so, same so it was direction. it was 370 compatible, but there were like technical reason why it couldn't be cloned. It was really funny when I came to Amdel and tried to explain. Uh, we are try we we, we, we we don't have uh, uh, actually uh, RAM. We 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 we, we, we try to uh, copy RAM into hard drives, and they kind of look at me. What, what they're talking so about. So did the did the ten thirty seven did that ship? Was that was that installed in production anywhere? Uh, very very небольшая серия. Yeah, it, 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 there were a few copies, but no, okay. not that many. It was it, not it's mastered. already eight years. Yeah, so 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 actually, like I left in eighty eight, it was still not done. Not done. It's by it's it's by, it's by ninety, it wasn't. No reason to no no reason to produce something. After the ninety one, <laughs> so during during that time, it sounds like that you would have preferred if there was a follow on to the Minsk thirty two, instead of working on the clones, uh, but you also supported applications now, no longer just operating system. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, no, it's, 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 we, no, it's not applic it's, we didn't it's not write application. application. No, we never it write was application, application level, but not in. in we never write write application for something. So, for example, переписи uh, населения. Um, как это сказать? Uh, the census. Ah, uh, uh -huh. well, 1969. 
перепись населения на 1969 делалась на Минске 32. The census of Computer And, and, and the more important example, which leads the center to KKPSS. There was computer center of uh, central Communist party center committee. Um, uh, they have two Minsk 32, because uh, because uh, somebody in high level decided is not not polite to to have to have uh, not Russian computer in the KKPSS, and they have two to Minsk computer, they connect them to uh, disk of, uh, hard IBM, drive of uh, hard IBM hard drive, hard drive and they, they produce the system for uh, two computers and this hard drive. But uh, in 71, 72, 73, I, I visit the KKPSS maybe every month if they have question to about the And two, uh, one year, I worked on that. Two, two, two institutes worked for this, for this uh, central committee. It, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm explaining you why we didn't write the the uh, application because it, a lot of a lot of people over there. Right. And sometimes people come to me to some question, and I see I I I should I should the Kazak propose them. I should I should. Uh, Mm, provide them in our in our building, and I should write down the the Yavku, mm, the, the application. Applica to get th into they come in, and sometimes I have ni a a or a a ni two different uh, from different uh, different, from different city or? from different uh, uh, area, but almost same name. same name. A, a lot of people came to us to to ask question about Minsk 32. But it was Minsk 32. Yeah, it, it's Minsk 32. And do you continue to do that for the uh, ES? No, uh, no, we, no. We, only, we only helped them to, to convert from Minsk 32 ca how to easiest come to, to ES, because we understand it was uh, impossible, maybe 10 years work with the same with the same so computer, the with the same the hardware. There the, the, the was, uh, we, we were advising how to convert software from Minsk 32 mm -hmm. to, to RAT, to ES machines. So, so it, it was special special deal for people who work uh, before ES, how to, how to start work, go, how to go to ES. Okay. And then you mentioned in 1981, the IBM PC appears. Mm -hmm. How did that affect people's thinking? It's not just that it's a different technology, it's also a much, much smaller machine. Sure. <laughs> it was very interesting. It's not an anecdote, it's a it's, it's it's, 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 it's real, real fact. Uh, so uh, the first Mac, uh, without uh, hard disk, only, only one small, uh, is 1984, yes? In 1985, I had this Macintosh on my table. So some spy from uh, Paris, not from USA, so got them and uh, sent them to the Soviet Union. My uh, director Lopato got this computer. And, uh, uh, it was, uh, you remember what is my first Mac, and keyboard in French. Keyboard in French and computer and uh, some, some box with, with disk, with three inches disk. Uh, so one day I came, uh, I go uh, so along the door of my boss, uh, he look out and, oh, Mark Ifimich, come in. Uh, I, I came, I, I see some computer, uh, and, uh, and uh, boss told me, Uh, I, I don't know what to do with it. Maybe you will try to do something. 
Uh, ik zei, oké, okay. hij thuis zich computer, kamp to my desk en try to understand something. I look over the disk, I see some name of them. My English is very poor, I never learn, learn English, I learn German. But I understand in English, maybe begin, end, start, and uh, go on. Some, some <laughs> Four for the uh, so, so it was, it was uh, I have English in uh, на уровне операционной системы, in level of, yeah. of operating system. Like, like many <laughs> Soviet programmers, level of the English is like uh, <laughs> computer language. So, so, so I see the disk in, in, in Macintosh and uh, I don't know how to take get it, it out. out. <laughs> get it out. I'm sitting and I see some small uh, дырочку. There is small hole. The hole. And, uh, and instantly I put some uh, staple and put in the, the and disc came out. Oh, I, I was I was <laughs> lucky. After them, I tried to understand what's happened more, and in couple in couple step, uh, steps I understand how to put this, how to uh, start the uh, system, and uh, and how to take out the uh, the disc because. Uh, exit and <laughs> eject was kind of programmatic eject was a new was new, new thing and mouse was new and uh, so everything was new uh, so um, and couple of days maybe in one week uh, so boss called me no do you understand something I go yes I do uh, I come with this computer uh, and at that time I prove uh, some program and some program we uh, uh, we uh, mm, uh, read what I what I print. Te te text of voice. What what I print. And, uh, so uh, I print uh, in Russian durak. Durak is stupid. Stupid. A, a computer told durak. It was it was uh, so funny. It was funny. Uh, I, I'm I'm showing this director. Director was. So, oh, computer in, interesting. Speak computer, in Russian. Uh, computer in Russian speak something. Uh, so I, I decided to to make a joke. Uh, so I, I, I'm telling. So Georgi Pavlovich, uh, computer not only speak Russian, understand Russian. And I did uh, this. I put my finger on the mouse. I choose menu eject. I put the cursor on the jet and I sitting. And I'm telling, a die disketku. Give back give, me give this. back give back the disk. And nothing. No. A die disketku. No. So a die disketku. And, and, and I put the, the, the mouse. Disk come out. It was it was circus. But after them, I got uh, I got this computer for my table maybe from from one to one two years. It was my my uh, personal personal computer, uh, yes. which was kind of unheard of. <laughs> yes. So that but was a, that was in 1985. You said. Yes, 1985. So, yes. So at that point, what was the? Uh, so we uh, we already f almost finished the, our first clone. Uh, nine, uh, yes, 1840 with uh, IBM, IBM PC, not PC XT, but IBM PC without without hard disk. Now, was that designed the hardware at the plant there at the institute? There? Yes. What about the software? Uh, so we 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 know so it should be something in Russian, uh, no Russian version of of. Uh, Software. PC, Microsoft PC, or anything. No, 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 no contact with Microsoft. With, and we, we decided to choose easiest uh, operating system, uh, uh, CP, CP, uh, CPM 86, not CPM 80. And we, uh, uh, we convert, we, um, so maybe, um, so. Сейчас. Мы ввели туда uh, русский язык. Uh, yeah, so, so starting with CPM 86, 86, 
it had to be Russified because it's personal and computer and after all. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was so Russian uh, language uh, yeah, so comments, Russian not, language. Not, not Russian language common, but uh, Russian alphabet. Ra Russian, yeah. So, so, so kind of the question how to code uh, how to code how Russian in, how in ASCII? How to combine Russian with uh, with English? It, it was before before uh, uh, before the, uh, the when when IBM introduced all languages in in uh, operating so system in DOS. System for in DOS. So uh, later we we make uh, own ver version of DOS, but at that time it was possible to contact with with Microsoft already. But it was hard for us contact because contact was in Moscow or not not in not in, in Minsk. And I one day I got the chance to to send hi uh, Bill Gates when they come first in in uh, in Moscow in nineteen maybe eighty nine. But uh, after, but we had already a Russian version of of DOS. Where did the software come from, CPM 86? Uh, how, did you, how did you get CPM 86 to uh, we, 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 uh, we, had, we had some uh, Japanese computer and, uh, and maybe German computers, uh, some clones of, of, of IBM, so already with, with software. So was it disassembly? Uh, no, 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 not, not disassembled. Uh, so, uh, some people uh, uh, so working with that understand how to expand it. Okay. So, so but there was no was there was no no we, we didn't have sources. Okay. So, so there was so no, no source. There was no there was no, no agreement with digital research. No 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 agreement no okay. no uh, it was illegal if if be honest. Okay. How did how did the way PCs were made, changed the way software was made within your organization. Did you, you mentioned earlier how you thought about the modular aspects of software on the Minsk 32 and then about the transition to the ES and then the PCs. The way software was made, did that change as well? So uh, it was almost almost no time to, to, to think about that because in 85 we started the first computer and in 88 it's already uh, Gorbachev with some uh, import a lot of that and it was very, very, we не думали, что есть большой смысл что-нибудь копировать уже. Uh, because it was kind of short time between the first implementation and the openness which allowed imports and whatever, uh, we didn't think there is reason to, to make, to to make to something, to, to make copies mm -hmm. of or... Was there, was there a um, community developing around these machines, uh, not maybe not the PC clones, but there were uh, more lower end computers available uh, to individuals at the time. Were you aware of a hobbyist community at all? No. no not in our Not at that time. A actually, there was some community, but, but no, he, 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 sent me, he sent me to learn Unix because it was community project uh, doing Unix. It was in Moscow by different yeah. organizations, different people, but it wasn't part of, of NEVM culture, for example. But the, the um, individuals who might have a clone of a Sinclair Spectrum, for example, at uh, home? Some, sometimes yes, but, uh, but uh, maybe uh, it was not near No, it, 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 it wasn't something that we in institute were right. aware of. Were you, so. were you uh, interested in having a computer in your home? <laughs> yes, of course, but where can I find it? <laughs> Didn't you take this mark to, to your home? I, I, I took to my, sometimes mark to my home to learn my children, to, to show my children how, what, what's happened. <laughs> So when his son for came, couple days. We, we, when his son came here, I at actually at, get at eighteen. Him, <laughs> at eighteen, I actually get him job uh, about a week after they came in. 
he started to he knows already it. something. He, because he knew already he, he, he already played with this at home. So. Were there any were there any uh, like online resources available that developed at that time? Online? Was there, what was there any uh, <laughs> any dial up communities? Yeah. Uh, was there anything like that? Um I dial labs Pythonet was I think it's ninety one the the earliest and and he doesn't even know about that. Right. And I it was a different it was a different community from yeah. what he worked mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Okay. How did the the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the independence of Belarus, you know, change your work and change your life? Change your life for sure. <laughs> uh well, the solution started in 1991, so when they arrested Gorbachev and kept him uh -huh. in, in Crimea, he was actually here in the United States, and it was... So, exactly, uh, so, um, at that time, at when Gorbachev was in, in, uh, in uh, Crimea, Crimea, in Crimea, yes, I was here. Uh, I, I was here in, in some in some trip because uh, exactly he and, and, and some people more from our uh, organization uh, so invite me to visit to visit how they how they working here and how they living here and it was maybe nine, 91 it's already uh, so m it was more more easy to to get uh, the exit visa and, uh, and yes, passport to get, from to Russia. get visa to get passport for more easy for us, uh, so uh, so uh, I I came here, and uh, life uh, changed quickly, but work doesn't change. change. Work changed later because no money no money to to pay. So, so my my question there is why did you? Uh, leave Belarus, and why did you settle in California? Uh, so I leave Belarus. I, I I leave the Soviet Union because I had two sons, eighteen and nineteen years, and uh, so it was maybe была угроза, что они попадут в Афганистан. Yeah, so so there was uh, some rumors, and actually changes were so quick that there was a chance for his 18 and 19 year old sons to be conscripted to army and sent to Afghanistan. So that was the scariest so, part. So it, it, w it was a chance to, avo to avoid this uh, ugrozo. Yeah, so that was, th that was kind of the main reason. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, uh, so I, underst I understood ex exactly I didn't have the work here in computer uh, area because I was too old. I, I was already uh, 58 and my English was very, very poor and uh, to go to entry level, I was too old and nobody will tell, uh, will uh, so give me the work something higher because I don't have experience here because my experience is not, not exactly. So uh, I, I understand in full I will be no no job. I will not have job here. After them, maybe a couple in maybe four or five years, I go to college to to teach math because uh, because in my diploma I have uh, mathematician teacher of math of high school is written on my diploma. I evaluate my. PhD, I evaluate my diploma, and it was uh, enough for me to work part time in, in, in college here in the so. But I, uh, but I was interested in computer and. Uh, so you moved to the United States in 1994. 94, yes. And then in 1998, I believe you, you mm -hmm. taught at uh, the community college there. Mm -hmm. You, you taught at a number of other places as well in the 1980s, I believe. Uh, I will tell you uh, so. Uh, if I if I got PhD, and our director Lapato got cathedra cathedra, cathedra uh, so uh, department department in radio technical institute, radio technical institute it was special uh, institute for uh, computer and uh, radio and TV for electronics, and she, she got department and she 
uh, ask me and not only me but couple people from institute to to work in in uh, in this in this department I, I maybe couple years uh, learned them how to how to develop uh, how to design uh, so software what it means modular programming and what it means cross translation or whatever and, uh, and in 92 after chernobyl uh, some people and first of all uh, Shushkevich был uh, so, uh, so president, pres first president of Belarus, which is uh, from the same university at one, one year before me in physics, uh, decided to make institute for, for uh, uh, radi uh, uh, radio, ra radio ecology. Uh, and uh, they involved uh, the Sakharov names. And, uh, and uh, again, uh, so they, uh, they provide me to, to, to teach something in computer science them, and uh, I, I work them. And you enjoyed, you enjoyed teaching? Yes, yes. And he's a really good teacher. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Right, I have a few more questions just to wrap things up. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of to summarize it. Were there major turning points in your career, major changes where you took a different path. Какая точка? Какие в карьере были места, вот где какие-то резкие изменения, резкие принятия решений интересные? First of all, it was some finish with with dream about the mathematics and go to computers. It's it's after university. And second one, uh, so um, don't I don't like uh, clone. I I better will have own uh, own uh, part of job, but not not copy of something. And and the last one, <laughs> so drop Soviet <laughs> Union and come here. <laughs> How's your thinking about computing changed over your career? Uh, in 1978, when uh, Yershov department in, in Novosibirsk has 20 years of existing, it was some conference about this event. And so Yershov uh, told, let, let I will, uh, let I will, Sibiru, mm, uh, choose choose old programmer to discuss what will be in the future. I was the youngest from uh, old programmer. And uh, the Yershov asked, uh, tell me what will be, how do you think what will be in, uh, in uh, tw 10, 20 years. Almost all people telling it will be no more typewriter. All, all of uh, people understand already. Uh, the, I, I proud. I told it will be no uh, photography chemical. It will be, it will be digital. Uh, uh, somebody told it will be no no phones. Will be only computer, but nobody predict in internet from the from this. If I think about what's happened with computer in in fifty years when I, in 60 years, when I heard about first computer, 60 years already come, maybe 65 already. Yeah. Never can understand what's happened with computers in this short period. If, if you compare what's happened with atomic bombs, nothing. Small, <laughs> bigger, and that's all. With, with, uh, with, um, with plane, no, well, small, okay, a little bit, uh, but computer is uh, unbelievable. Re uh, revolutionary computer is unbelievable. Are there choices you made that you regret? So I should choose English in. University, not German. <laughs> 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 
if I did, if I had English in university, maybe my life was <laughs> different. What was the most difficult decision you had to make? This could be professional or personal. Maybe uh, don't try to find job in computer in computer in the USA after coming. It was hard for me to forget about everything what I what I understand about computer, but stop stop think about the work in this in this area. And is there a decision that you made that you want to redo or do differently? No, <laughs> no, I believe not. <laughs> what inspires you? Inspires. Что тебя вдохновляет? Right now? Throughout your career, <laughs> right now? However you'd like to answer. Um, uh, if somebody maybe uh, 50 years ago told me in my 82, right now 81, 82, I will be able to to speak to people, to <laughs> maybe to to tell some jokes or whatever, I didn't believe them because uh, if I remember the first New Year, what I uh, what I met maybe in 1951, 1951, it will be half of half of century. I I suppose what will be if the century will end? I believe I didn't learn about that. I didn't know about that. It's maybe not for me, but I hope right now I will be I will see what will be in in end of 20s, I hope. This inspires me. <laughs> of which accomplishments are you proud? Чем я горжусь? Two sons. Two sons. <laughs> What's the most and has given you the most enjoyment in your life? Fred's. What suggestions can you offer to young people? Learn. Better to do something else, learn. And just as a last question, how, how would you summarize what you've done in your life? I will tell you in a couple of years later. <laughs> Not yet. Is there anything else you would like to add? Any other, any other facts, any other stories, anything else that you would like to add? Uh, a, little, a little bit hard to read something wrong about previous years. Uh, if I can't explain uh, what I see something wrong in, in some printed or read, it will be good for me to tell people, no, it's, it's lie, it's lie, don't believe them, but it's hard. Great. Hanson, do you have anything? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank really, you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You had good questions. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>